If you could go back and recut your film, I guarantee you, you would approach it with a sensitivity and a wisdom and a confidence. You go, ah, why didn't I see that before? I didn't believe in myself as a filmmaker the way I do now. Now I realize what is really valuable. 35 years later, what is the metaphor that you're making with this different version of the fight? A warrior is a warrior to the very end, and though he may be defeated, he won't go quietly into that good night. I just think it'd be great for him to rally so it isn't a complete slaughter that you go, oh, Apollo Creed did go down fighting. He didn't go down being slaughtered. And now it is the Russian just standing there. The Russian trying to intimidate Creed. And the Russian throws the right hand and staggers Creed under the right to the jaw. Under the right to the jaw. The Russian trying to intimidate Creed. Come on, pull it together. Before Rocky could have stopped the fight and didn't. This time, he's dropping the towel, but that punch hits at the same time. So as the towel drops, everything drops, his life drops. He's just a second late. Again, you wouldn't kill Apollo? Never. If I if I had to do it ever again, I never would have killed Apollo. Absolutely not. It was uh, foolish. I thought I needed that kind of springboard to, to protect the drama you know, on his really great, powerful velocity forward. Him in a wheelchair, he would assume the role of Mickey. And, you know, now his physicality has been diminished we would have seen a different side of Apollo. He could have opened up to all these other things that we didn't even know about him, because he's now in a wheelchair. And he would have kind of like been a father figure, mentor, brother, been really great. Like he would have been embraced by my family. Then you have his family too. Then you, you well, what about that whole thing? Now, it, yeah, it would have been a, it would have changed the Rockies oh, from there. It would have it? changed the entire trajectory of all the Rockies. I mean, there it, there would have been Rocky Five would have never happened, and Rocky Six maybe never would have happened that way. And Creed. Yeah, well, Creed probably never would have been made. When you were writing the script, was that the theme that was prominent in your head? Guilt? Um, not as much, not not as profound. I thought it would be. I was thinking more of just a tale like a great adventure. And I didn't think of the ramifications, like, okay, he dies. It's like the death of a legend, like Muhammad Ali. It's like, it has profound repercussions. I think the biggest problem I had as a younger filmmaker was lack of patience and confidence in, in extending the moment. I was always very cognizant, okay, uh, the audience is gonna get bored, jump ahead. Instead of giving them the benefit of the doubt and let the emotion sink in, I would rush right through it. And now I completely see the uh, fallibility and all that. It's very frustrating, it really is. That's why I'm so happy to get a shot at this. It's like imagine getting a shot to re-edit your life. It's like go back and do things that you always wanted to do. You know, obviously you can't do that with everything, but that's the beauty of film. So I guess I didn't peruse all this stuff in depth. And now I see, I went, oh. it was all there. So you've never seen this take? Never. Since you shot it? I've never seen it since 1985. <laughs> Adrian always tells the truth. You can't win!
Adrian always tells the truth. And the more I can mine out of this stuff, the more the audience is going to take away something besides just a fight. They're going to take away, uh-huh. We went through a journey. Lose this. Lose that. And here we go. Keep going. This is where I'm going to go from. So I hit him. You cut around to this. And you see me then shove him. Get out of there! Come on, spin him out! Let's go, Rob! Get out of there! <laughs> Gets out of the corner now, and now what's more is Drago backing Rocky Balboa up with a jab. And Balboa is not staying on balance because of the long jab of the Russian. Brace yourself! Brace yourself! Come on! Get up! Hands up! Come on, baby! Hands up! Gets out of the corner now, and now what's more is Drago backing Rocky Balboa up with a jab. And Balboa is not staying on balance because of the long jab of the rush. Keep walking, Rock. Now this means more, because you didn't see it before. It's the complete opposite of what the original was, where I take a complete beating. This is, like, interesting. Like, people are not going to expect this. I'd like to optically blow this up about 10% and do this. See how it's coming in from this angle? And right now, so you see him doing this, but then you see him coming in underneath? Not good. I want it to be like that. So it looks like he's coming from above, which he would. He's six foot five. See what I mean? Right. Right now he's throwing a punch here which makes no sense. There it is, right away. That's that's a hundred percent better. This is a morass of self-discovery, kind of like a swamp. The deeper you get into it, it becomes cinematic quicksand. And if someone doesn't pull you out, you're gone. What do you feel watching this now? I, I feel foolish. I said, my guy, you know, like the, the ship sailed, circus left town. And that's why this is a mixed bag of emotions right now. It makes me very angry. Gratified, but also angry that I didn't see it at the time. But isn't that the conundrum of life? It really is. If I only knew then what I knew now. There it is. Absolute pandemonium. More than ever. Right? Yes. He's himself a true champion. I'm a happy man. I really think that we nailed it. We delivered it the knockout blow. I finally said what I wanted to say. I should have said 35 years ago. That man, man, all of us are entitled to follow our dreams, to stick to our beliefs, no matter what the consequences is. Because in the end, that's all you have is the faith in yourself. And if you keep believing in that, eventually it will come true.